All right, everybody, so it is feeding time, and we're just gonna show you the way that I feed my personal dogs. I use a little bit of kibble, I use a little bit of raw, and they enjoy it, so stay tuned. So when you have multiple dogs, of course, they're not all gonna eat the same amount, depending on what you're trying to do. I'm trying to put more weight on juice right now, so we're gonna add a little bit more to his. Baseline food, and we're gonna put some oatmeal in there, we're gonna put some cottage cheese and some other stuff, and you guys are gonna see that process. We're gonna make each of these dogs' foods right for you guys, so you can see how we keep our dogs looking nice and fit. All right, so with juice, I'm gonna put a lot more oatmeal in his because I need that weight to stick. I'm trying to get him to stick. But it is the winter time, so I am going to give all of the dogs some of that so they can get on that winter weight. There we go. And a little bit more for juice. Next thing we're gonna add is some green beans to the mix. I like to dip a little bit of the juice out first. So everybody get a little bit of green bean juice. And then just again, just kind of eyeball it. And you can get this weighed out to the correct proportions and all of that stuff, but I just be eyeballing. <laughs> All right, so we're adding pineapple to the mix. Get that little tang, get that little tangy in there. And yes, people, your dogs can eat fruits and veggies. So people often always say, man, your dog's coat is so shiny. What do you do? The little can right here. <laughs> that little can right there. Mm-hmm, you want that shiny coat? Start adding sardines, man. Okay, I'm gonna pour that juice in there, get that little juice You. And then, I like to just dump probably like two or three in each of them. Ooh, a little good for boo, man. Get that for juice, man. We gotta open another Kang Man. Shiny coat, sardine. We giving you all the gems, man. Come on, get that for little Okie, baby. And then oh man, Rocco. And then I want Hero to be extra shiny, so we're gonna give him a little, little bit, a little extra over there. Tip, 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 tip. Macros. Again, pour that juice in there. That for juicy. All right, so pumpkin, we're adding that. It's a good fiber source for your dog. If you need to solidify that stool, you can add some pumpkin too. That good old ground beef from Mr. Boomerang. Yeah, we like Hero. Kids in the background making noise as always. And yeah, so I told you I'm trying to put some weight on juice, so he gonna get the rest of that there. He gonna get the rest of that there. Ground beef. And we do a lot of activity stuff, active stuff with our dogs, so they gotta have a good fat source, man. Cottage cheese. So we often get asked, how do we keep our dog's teeth so white? <laughs> Here's a secret. Rib bones. Rib bones. And it is a myth, if your dog tastes blood, they're gonna turn into a savage killer. My dog's been eating blood since they were literally hero in them, since they were born, basically. And no savages. And then we're gonna top it off with some leafy spinach. And my dogs, <laughs> if they have the full leaf, they'll just spit it out. So I like to rip it up and put it in there. Look at that food presentation. It's a five star meal here. It's five star, look at that, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Last but not least, raw 
chicken. Raw chicken is not bad for your dogs. If it is cooked, the bones can splint. Not raw. I like to top it off with the cheese cubes. And I just put two, three in them. And then the last thing I do is I like to hydrate the kibble in there and give them a good source of water. So we put some water in there and allow them to get it and then make it look like a, a nice doggy cereal. feeding time with my pack and if you are thinking about getting into raw feeding you can check out some pre-made raw places um, it kind of expensive if you have multiple dogs it's actually cheaper to go and get the stuff and do it yourself it is time consuming I mean it is messy um, when you're traveling it is pretty hard but what I do when I travel is I bring my kibble and depending on if they're competing or what they they may stop I may stop and go get some ground beef or whatever so it is makes it a little easier but you do have to worry about storage and different stuff like that when you are trying to get into the raw feeding, just start slow. Don't feed your dog for a day or two, throw a chicken in there, see what he does. Then add some ground beef, add some cottage cheese, add some green beans, add some pumpkin, and just slowly start adding this together to the bowl until your bowls start looking like ours. <laughs> but do not just see the video and be like, oh my God, I'm gonna do everything that you saw in this video the very first time because your dog's gonna look at it like, man, what the heck is this? Start slow. Build value in it, and as always, people, just take care of your dog. 